hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome you guys beyonce is hiding she's hiding beyonce has not been seen in public since april her unexplained absence is causing concern among her music industry friends there is speculation that beyonce and her husband jay-z are very nervous about being linked to Sean Diddy Combs' SEX scandal. According to page six, Beyonce and Jay-Z's friends are preparing to file a missing person report. Oh my gosh. Beyonce has been missing in action at a time when she should be promoting her country music album, which is slipping on the charts. Insiders are saying that Beyonce and Jay-Z are missing because they are nervous about showing their faces during Diddy's vast abuse scandal, lest they draw attention to their longtime friendship with the disgraced hip-hop mogul. A shock source tells Page Six this was supposed to be Beyonce's time with her much-anticipated country album out. Yet, she is nowhere to be seen. The album is slipping and Jay and Beyonce are not reveling in the spotlight. The source continued, about a month before the March 29th release, Jay-Z got up at the Grammys and whined that Beyonce had never won Album of the Year. But now what? Does, she think, does he think she will win? For Cowboy Carter with no promotion, no appearances, and no wooing of the Academy? A source says the album is far from a flop, but it's definitely not the juggernaut everyone thought it would be. Something is going on. Insiders wonder whether Beyonce or Jay-Z are seen in freak-off videos seized from Diddy's home during Federal Race earlier this year. Interesting. Well, we do know. Jay-Z and Diddy are very, very close. Very, very close. I mean, close, close. As a matter of fact, Beyonce would be at the parties where Diddy would be abusing Cassie right in front of them. Okay? She knows Jay-Z's next. And when Jay-Z's next, that means she's next. Because they are a business. Business marriage. Oh, you didn't know? They were put together. They were set up together. I remember years ago, this guy wrote an article, right? This black guy wrote an article saying, talking about the business arrangement that Jay-Z and Beyonce is. My gosh, do you know? Next day, the article was taken down. The guy was fired because he exposed the business marriage. Like, we didn't know. But like, come on. Some of us have eyes and some of us use our brains, Okay. It's a business marriage. There's no love there. It's business. Remember when they would be out and he would be 20 steps ahead of her every single time? And it was just like, what the heck? And I remember when she was making this album. Uh, what's the one that was? The one that has the, uh, killing me softly. That song. She was showing, you know, parts of making the album behind the scenes. And she was at the table with him, I guess, making, you know, letting him hear it. And you could tell his whole demeanor was just like, ugh, like, I can't stand this person. Like, his whole demeanor was like, he didn't want to be there. Like, he was just like, I was just like, wow, they really showed that clip? They really showed that? I'm telling you, go find that. I'm not even going to go find it. But I'm telling you, if you have time, go find that clip of her at the table with Jay-Z and then she wanted him to listen to the to the song, right? Man, that was cringe. His whole demeanor was disgusted. Like, find a clip. I'm not even going to find a clip because I'm, like, too busy. But if you can find that clip when they were at the table and she wanted him to listen to the song and he was just, like, bored, like, just, like, ugh, get me out of here. I'm telling you, my mind is a sponge. 
I take in everything. I don't even forget. I don't forget anything. I'm telling you, I don't forget anything. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, that business marriage is like, come on, it's done. And all that lemonade album, Becky with the good hair and all that. But it's a business marriage. Okay. Like, please, like cut it out. Okay. So <laughs> it's, you know what? I was going to say something I, I, I found out. People been saying about Beyonce, but nobody really talk about it. Nobody really. I don't know. I don't know. It's two things. Should I say it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe next next video I make of her, I'll mention it because. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's like her mother though. Her mom is like her mouthpiece now. I think I I read a an article last week. Her mom is talking about oh Beyonce was bullied. Really, I love it. Listen, anyone who knew, who watched Beyonce clips of her. When she was like, you know, before she made it, or in the beginning, she had like this. She was very bossy. She had this nasty attitude. And people like that don't get bullied. Okay? People like that don't get bullied. And then in the same article, her mom said, oh, yeah, at one time, she, well, she even though she got bullied, she was... She used to stand up to the bullies or somebody bullied somebody she knew. And then Beyonce was this protective and... So it's like, wait, you, so she's bullied, but yet she also is the protector of, like, she protect people from bullies, but yet she was, like, it makes no sense. And then all she said was, yeah, they used to, you know, poke fun of her ears. People that she knew, she said they would bring pillows and cover their ears with the pillows, you know, to be like, because she got ear, big ears. But it's like, wait, nobody's bringing no pillows to school. So you see what I mean? So if you listen to these this people, you really listen to what they're saying, it's like they're lying. She said, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. She went on Oprah. There's a clip where she was like, yeah, my ears, they would make fun of my ears, and they would, people would, you know, put pillows over their ears and be like, ha, ha, ha. But I'm like, where do people don't come to school with, with pillows? So that tells me it was maybe her cousins, right? You know, that's probably like, you know, playing with her. Like, you got big ears. I don't know. But the mom, Tina knows that lady is a liar, okay? She's like the mouthpiece for Beyonce. She wants her to come off relatable, and it's not working because the story needs to match. It needs to make sense, right? It needs to make sense. Now, Beyonce was bullied, and in the same breath, she said Beyonce would stand up for people who were being bullied at the same time. <laughs> I don't, it makes no sense because we all know Beyonce had a nasty attitude. There are clips of Beyonce being very disgusting towards her DC members, Ray Kelly and Michelle. Yeah, very disgusting. Like, attitude, like, nasty. Like, I mean, smart. Like, just nasty. Straight up nasty. Just like, like, you know, like she was just like above them. Okay? So that, no, people like that don't get bullied. They do not get bullied. They will not get bullied. Okay? I know. So, please, cut it out. The mom is a liar. The mom want her to come off relatable. I don't know, but we all know Beyonce is not relatable. She's not trying to be relatable. And that's okay. Okay, so I'm not relatable <laughs> and I'm okay with that because it's like I I can't relate to a lot of people in their ways. I'm just like, eh, you know, but anyways, <laughs> I'm done. But yeah, so that's all you guys. So thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, please subscribe, please share this video and I will see you on the next one. Peace.